And now that we're here, feeling so good About all the things that we went through Knowing that God speaks with us too It's not a dream, this is so true Feeling the peace all around Seeing things we can never imagine Hearing the sound of rivers flow And we know we'll be here forever The feeling is indescribable Knowing that this is our reward Alhamdulillah, 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 Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Ladi, Ahiana, Bada Mama, Tana, Wai, Nehi, Bishur. We're grateful to Almighty Allah for restoring our lives, having temporary taken it yesterday. It is the last 10 days of Ramadan. We're getting closer and closer to the end. This is time we search for the night of majesty, the night that will recorded for us as though we've worshipped Allah for 83 years. Hope you've geared up for it. If you've met the night, allow alam. If not, keep at it. Keep searching. For Allah, inshallah ta'ala, we pray that we will be among those that witness the night. Coming up now is the Quran, Hadith, and IBT extras. One additional thing we share with you is time of dua. When, is, when are those times that dua is critical? Dua is acceptable any time, but then there are those accelerated times. Let's look out for those times, inshallah ta'ala, in what we have to share with you, and we'll be right back. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما أشهدتهم خلق السماوات والأرض ولا خلق أنفسهم وما كنت متخذ المضلين عضدا ويوم يقول نادوا شركائي الذين زعمتم فدعوهم فلم يستجيبوا لهم فدعوهم فلم يستجيبوا لهم وجعلنا بينهم موبقا ورأى المجرمون النار فظنوا أنهم واقعوها ولم يجدوا عنها مصرفا ولقد صرفنا في هذا القرآن للناس من كل مثل وكان الإنسان أكثر شيء جدلا وما منع الناس أن يؤمنوا إذ جاء وَيَسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّهُمْ إِلَّا أَن تَأْتِيَهُمْ سُنَّةُ الْأَوَّلِينَ أَوْ يَأْتِيَهُمُ الْعَذَابُ قُبُلًا وَمَا نُرْسِلُ الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِلَّا مُبَشِّرِينَ وَمُنْذِرِينَ وَيُجَادِلُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِالْبَاطِلِ لِيُدْحِضُوا بِهِ الْحَقِّ وَاتَّخَذُوا آيَاتِي وَمَا أُنذِرُوا هُزُوًا وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ ذُكِّرَ بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِ فَأَعْرَضَ عَنْهَا وَنَسِيَ مَا قَدَّمَتْ يَدَاهِ إنا جعلنا على قلوبهم أكنة أن يفقهوه وفي آذانهم وقرا وإن تدعهم إلى الهدى فلن يهتدوا إذا أبدا وربك الغفور ذو الرحمة لو يؤاخذهم 
بما كسبوا لعجل لهم العذاب بل لهم موعد لن يجدوا من دونه موئلا وتلك القرى أهلكناهم لما ظلموا وجعلنا وجعلنا لمهلكهم موعدا وإذ قال موسى لفتاه لا أبرح حتى أبلغ مجمع البحرين أو أمضي حقبا رمضان 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 يا حبيب رمضان رمضان ليتك دوما قريب رمضان 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 يا حبيب رمضان Ramadan Karim from Ablat Nigeria Limited. Yo yo beaters, stay purified. It's 2015, and this year, for the first time in its history, the IBT Ibu Fitri Family Fun Fair will host in two cities at the same time. This year's Family Fun Fair will host in Lagos and Abuja, and both events promises to be exclusive, exciting, and fun filled. The Lagos event comes up on Sunday, the 19th of July 2015, at the very classy fun factory at Admiralty Way, Lucky Face One, Lagos. Abuja event holds on Sunday, 19th and Monday, 20th of July 2015. At the new and lush Itumates Park, located at Area 11, Garki Abuja. Start time is 11 a.m. and entry fee for both events is a thousand naira flat. The 2015 Eye Beauty Ibu Fidri Family Fun Fair. We feature lots of exciting games, fun rides, kiddos swimming pool, national performances, open mic competition, five pillar games, five aside football, and exclusive exhibitions. All games and rides are absolutely free. For tickets and exhibition space bookings, Lagos call 0807. 843 one very beautiful Umar. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, that the Messenger of Allah, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, said, Allah said, Spend, O son of Adam, and I shall spend on you. It was related by Al-Bukhari, also by Muslim. On the authority of Abu Mas'ud al-Ansari, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, said, A man from among those who were before you was called to account. Nothing in the way of good was found for him, except that he used to have dealings with people. And being well-to-do, he would order his servants to let off the man in straitened circumstances from repaying his debt. He said that Allah said, We are worthier than you of that. Let him off. It was related by Muslim, also by Al-Bukhari and An-Nasai. On the authority of Adi ibn Hatim, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, I was with the Messenger of Allah, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him. And there came to him two men. One of them was complaining of penury, while the other was complaining of brigandry. The Messenger of Allah, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, said, As for brigandry, it will be but a short time before a caravan will be able to go out to Makkah without a guard. As for penury, the hour will not arrive before one of you takes his charity around without finding anyone to accept it from him. Then one of you will surely stand before Allah, there being no screen between him and him nor an interpreter to translate for him. Then he will say to him, 
Did I not bring you wealth? And he will say, Yes. Then he will say, Did I not send to you a messenger? And he will say, Yes. And he will look to his right and will see nothing but hellfire. Then he will look to his left and will see nothing but hellfire. So let each of you protect himself against hellfire, be it with even half a date, and if he finds it not, then with a kind word. It was related by al Bukhari. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this episode of Daily Islamic Admonitions. Today we'll be looking at the need to always hold on to hope, to never give up in the face of trials of life. In the Quran, Allah assures us in Surah Al Yunus, chapter 10, verse 62 to 65, where He says, Verily, those who are close to Allah, no fear need they have, nor shall they grieve. They who have attained to faith and keep conscious of Him, for them there is the glad tiding of contentment in this life and of the world to come. Since nothing could ever change the promise of Allah, that is the supreme triumph. And let not the speech of those who deny the truth grieve you. Surely all power and honor belongs to Allah alone. Allah makes it clear in this verse that believers who testify to their faith with good actions and frequent repentance are assured that even in the hereafter they have no cause for fear when they meet their Lord. As Muslims we should not allow the difficulty of the situations we face to make us swerve and deviate from God consciousness and rightful action. It is usually when the challenges are hardest that our faith is most threatened and that is when we need to hold on to Allah's rope. Wallahu alam and Allah knows best. Enjoy the fruits of your devotion to Allah and stay true to his teachings with the Iman account from Stambik IBTC Bank. Stambik IBTC Bank, moving forward. The Nigerian Turkish International Colleges, NTIC, announces admissions for the 2015-2016 academic session from pre-nursery to senior secondary levels. This is an opportunity for you to enroll your child in one of the best institutions of learning in Nigeria with competent local and foreign teachers dedicated to giving quality education to students in accordance with the Nigerian curriculum. NTIC provides standard day and boarding facilities, well-furnished classrooms, ICT classes, interactive boards, well-equipped laboratories, up-to-date libraries, and much more. Enroll your child today at NTIC, a school where students are nurtured with the best educational tools that guarantee them a bright and successful future. For more information, you can visit any of the NTIC schools nationwide or visit the website at www.ntic.edu.ng or call 0816-535-3032. The Nigerian Turkish International Colleges, the right environment for learning. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Another short reminder. Ta'ala regarding the recommended times of dua. And I think what you need to know here is that the recommended times of dua or recommended things that can, can, can cause your dua to be accepted, these can be divided into two sort of large groups. Situations where your dua is accepted and times where your dua is accepted. So I'm going to very briefly mention them one after the other as much as possible. Situations and then times where your dua is accepted. As for situations where your dua has been accepted, the person who has been wronged or oppressed, 
the person who finds themselves in severe difficulty, after a calamity has struck a person, the one who is traveling, the one who is fasting, the one who is reciting the Qur'an or has just recited the Qur'an, the one who is performing Hajj or Umrah or Jihad fi sabilillah, the one who is making dua for someone in their absence because we know that when you make dua for a brother in your absence or in his absence, because we know that when you make dua for a brother in his absence, an angel says, Ameen, unto you. The one who is in a state of remembering Allah Azza wa Jal constantly and the just ruler. These are some of the situations that the ulama mentioned. If you find yourself to be in this situation, this is a situation where your dua will be accepted. As for times of the day or the week or the month or the year when your dua is accepted, then the last third of the night. So divide the night between Maghrib and Fajr. Divide it into three pieces, the last third of the night. When the Adhan is called, so between the Adhan and the Iqamah, after the Adhan and then between the Adhan and the Iqamah, during the prayer, the closest that a slave is to his Lord is when he is in a state of prostration. While prostrating, and before the end of the prayer, after you have finished the tashahud, and after the prayer, once you have finished your adhkar, your dhikr that you make after the prayer. An hour on Friday, or a period of time on Friday. And the scholars disagreed over when this is. Some of them said that it is when the Imam sits down between the two khutbas. And some of them said that it is at the last period of time before Maghrib. And they have other opinions, but frequently making dua on Friday, particularly when the Imam sits down between the two khutbas and after the khutbah, and then frequently making it and just before Maghrib on a Friday, these are times when the scholars mention that your dua is accepted. When waking up at night, after performing wudu, before drinking zamzam, because zamzam is whatever it is drunk for, during the month of Ramadan, dua on Laylatul Qadr, on the night of the decree, dua while visiting the sick, dua when the rain falls, and dua at the crowing of the rooster. All of these are times that are mentioned within the Sunnah and situations that are mentioned within the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu in which your Dua is accepted. So it's for us to learn them and to put them into practice and to become people who frequently make Dua at all times and in all places. Because for example, if we look at the Friday, if you're frequently making Dua on that Friday all the way through, inshallah, you're gonna hit that hour in which your Dua is accepted. And so this is about us frequently making dua and about us learning the situations in which our dua is accepted. Wallahu alam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah says, Ya ibn Adam, that if your sins were to reach the limits, the peak, the height of the sky, when you stand and you look up in the sky, as far as your eye can see into the sky, the clouds, if your sins were to stack all the way up to the sky, my teacher when explaining this, he said that if every time you committed a sin, a bottle appeared. And when you committed another sin, another bottle appeared and they stacked up right next to each other. After a while, the whole earth was covered with bottles. No more place to put the bottles. Then you start stacking them on top of each other and you continue stacking them up until the entire earth all the way to the sky is completely filled with these bottles that are representative of our sins. One person sins. One person sins. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that if you, one human being, committed that many sins, ثُمَّ اسْتَغْفَرْتَنِي وَثُمَّ لِلْتَّأْخِيرِ then after you committed all of these sins, then you ask me for forgiveness once. You ask me for forgiveness once. I have forgiven you. And it's no big deal. Don't worry about it.
praise is due to the one and only. He is the master of all creation. All praise is due to the one and only. Oh, yeah. A happy woman is a woman who runs through her monthly period without stress or pains. And a happy man is a man whose wife takes yo-yo bitters. <laughs> Happiness, Happiness in a home is a function of understanding. Yo-yo bitters, available in liquid, gel, and caplets. Ramadan Karim from Ablat Nigeria Limited. Yo-yo bitters, stay purified. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. If you're just tuning in, it's IPT TV show on Silverbird Television. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, that Allah has made Islam easy for us to practice and He's made Himself so accessible for us. No intermediaries, no barriers. Let us make the most of it. Actually, focusing on those times of dua when it's most accepted, when it's really accelerated. Coming up now is their van. Then we'll bring the second half of the interview we had with the head of non interest bank in Lagos Zone in person of Kateri at UA. And after that, official Ijabi and of course, I'll be to on the streets. Don't go away. Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allah Ramadan Karim from Ablat Nigeria Limited. Yo yo beaters, stay purified. Now, um, so far, so good, uh, I would say, for Lagos, as well as for my other colleagues in other um, regions of the nation. Although the growth has been very slow, people, um, I, will, I will attribute this to, you know, the, the change. You know, sometimes people um, find it difficult to change from what they are very used to, to something that is new. All right, but um, I can tell you that we are better than what we were yesterday. We have a significant numbers of um, clients now, unlike we had um, yesterday. And 
I, I promise you it's growing. So my appeal to you all that are conscious of what Allah has said about riba and what Allah has said about um, engaging in financial transactions that, that are not in line with the Sharia principle. I, I call on you now to make up your mind and subscribe to the non-interest banking of Stambik IBTC Bank. If you have been watching, you may have seen previous episode where um, my boss was here to talk about the non-interest banking and how it um, evolved. Uh, you would have known in details that um, Stambik IBTC is positioned to, to, to provide that um, non-interest banking um, products in a manner that is compliant with, with the Sharia and um, you only need to just go to bed and um, feel happy that your, your funds are in a lull you know, um, in an allow bank. So you need not worry about that. So I, I encourage you, you can walk into uh, any of the Stambik IBTC bank branches. We have over 180 branches across the nation. We have up to 60 branches in Lagos. So every nook and cranny that you go to, I, I promise you that you find a Stambik IBTC bank there for you. And, and when you walk in there, just say you want to open an Eman account. It could be Eman current account, it could be Eman savings account. And um, you, you only need to come in with your passport photograph, your means of ID, and um, every other information that is required will be completed in our application form. And um, you enjoy debit cards that you can use anywhere in the world. You enjoy internet banking that is very friendly. and. Um, you can also enjoy prepaid cards. Everything, like I said in the beginning, that you, you can find in the conventional um, banking space, you can equally have it in the non-interest banking um, platform. So um, while I round up, I, I just want to share this with you. It's um, engaging in RIBA or engaging in banking transaction that is um, against the will of Allah is a very grave sin. Um, if we study our Quran and um, we read about um, Adit regarding this, we will know that it's a grave sin. And um, in, in, in some places in the Quran, it says if, if you engage in, in riba, it's as if you want to wage war with Allah. And you know, no, no human can stand to wage war with Allah. And um, the Prophet وسلم, said, in, in, it was recorded that he said that. Um, Whoever engages in, in, in RIBA or a non Sharia compliant um, financial transaction is, is, is committing a sin against Allah. Whoever um, takes interest, whoever gives interest, whoever processes um, the transaction that is interest based, and even whoever stands as a witness, is, uh, they are all equally um, liable to, to the sin uh, of disobeying Allah. So um, we. we I've given you the platform now and um, we have everything to show you that it's, it's compliant and um, you need not worry yourself because we have the best of the Sharia scholar on the Sharia board who approves every product that goes out there. So I encourage you to make up your mind today and um, open an Iman account with Stambik IBTC Bank. I say Salaam Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh. Enjoy the fruits of your devotion to Allah and stay true to his teachings with the Iman account from Stambik IBTC Bank. Stambik IBTC Bank. Moving forward. It's 2015 and this year for the first time in its history, the IBT Idul Fitri Family Fun Fair will host in two cities at the same time. This year's Family Fun Fair will host in Lagos and Abuja and both events promises to be exclusive, exciting and fun filled. The Lagos event comes up on Sunday the 19th of July 2015 at the very classy fun factory at Admiralty Way Lucky Phase 1 Lagos. Abuja event holds on Sunday 19th and Monday 20th July 2015 
at a new and lush Shipmates Park located at Area 11, Garki Abuja. Start time is 11 a.m. and entry fee for both events is a thousand naira flat. The 2059 Beauty Eagle for Three Family Fun Fair with feature lots of exciting games, fun rides, kiddos swimming pool, national performances, open mic competition, five pillar games, five aside football, and exclusive exhibitions. All games and rides are absolutely free. For tickets and exhibition space bookings, Lagos call 0807-843-9689 or 0803-618-0768. Abuja call 0802-910-3280 or 0903-503-2065. The 2015 IBOT EV Fitri Family Fund Fair is proudly supported by Stambik IBTC Non-Interest Banking Unit and Rights Foods Limited, makers of Happy Bites, Biggie Sausages and Right Sausages. The 2015 IBOT EV Fitri Family Fund Fun Fair, one beautiful event in two beautiful cities for one very beautiful Umar. Michelle Hijabi, The Mother's Revolution. This is Official Hijabi and I am Wilkis Adebayo Olympio. Perks and tips for wearing an abaya. By definition, an abaya is a loose, usually black robe worn by women in public for modesty. It can also be worn with a headscarf or a veil. An abaya can be worn to almost anywhere from the supermarket to an interview, a red carpet event, a wedding ceremony and even a get-together. An abaya is versatile and can be worn for many occasions and in many different ways. It is definitely an essential for every Muslim. A lot of perks of wearing the abaya. It's convenient and stress free, it's comfortable, it makes you look thin, and you look ready for any occasion. Here are four tips for styling an abaya for different occasions. For a comfy and casual look, plain abayas are ideal for a laid back or not too dressy look. Just sleep on flats or sneakers and sling on a purse or a tote and voila! You have a casual abaya look. You can don this casual abaya look to school, work, while shopping or even to the market. For a bridal look, soft colors like baby pink, white, cream or gold are ideal to wear at your own nikah. Exquisite embroidery using diamonds and pearls make the abaya perfect for weddings. Here are a few options. For an elegant look, accessorize with a gold pleated belt or embellished clutch purse and gorgeous heels. Here are a few options. For a formal look, plain deep colors are ideal for a formal abaya look. Choose an abaya with a soft material and avoid bright details. Style it with your plain handbag and pumps and a matching scarf for a modest yet formal official look. How do you style your abayas? 
do share with us. We'd love to know. Tweet at us or tag us on Instagram or Twitter. Hashtag official hijabi TV. Hashtag old style secret. See you next time with amazingly fresh outfit ideas and beauty tips on old style secret. Masala. Being a Muslim is the greatest mark of my life, a total way of life I love so much. I won't trade anything for it. Keeping up with the demands of my faith is something I take very seriously, and I'm glad to have an ally that makes it quite easy for me. Beitu Zina. Beitu Zina is an Islamic lifestyle hub, a one-stop shop for everything Islamic. From spiritual and uplifting books to modest clothing for men, women, and children, headwear and scarves, Islamic artifacts and fragrances, gift items for all occasions, audio visuals, health care and beauty products, Hajj and Umrah kit, and so much more. Step into a Beitu Zina outlet today or shop online from the comfort of your space with delivery of goods right to your doorstep. Wow, Beitu Zina. A true home of Islamic beauty and splendor. Beitu Zina, your one-stop shop for all that is Islamic. Assalamu alaikum. Are you looking for a very good nursery, primary or secondary school with border facilities where your child can get high quality education with Islamic background? Well, Imad Schools Lekki is your right choice. Take a look at our nursery, primary and secondary classrooms. They are spacious and carefully prepared to deliver a rich blend of Cambridge, Montessori and Nigerian curriculums. Our ultra-modern IT, audio and science laboratories are top notch. And our hostel facility is home away from home. We have a a beautiful and child-friendly place facility where children can relax and have fun. Imad school students are trained to be fit, critical thinkers, God-fearing and confident. If you truly care about giving your children a head start in life, laying a solid educational foundation for them, then Imad schools like he is the place to be. Call us today to pick up a registration form for your child. You can reach the school on our hotline 080-9999-6888 or 081-555-04000 or visit the school's website www.imadadu.com Imad Schools, upholding values for life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's another edition of IBT on the street. I am your host, Abdul Latif Sani. Do not forget this segment is sponsored by Right Foods, makers of Happy Bite. You also can be part of this segment by participating in the Happy Bite home play. All you need to do is to answer the question, and that's all. So for today, the question for the Happy Bite home play is What is the meaning of Al Quran? Yes, as simple as that. The meaning of Al Quran. Send your answers. SMS only. No calls. No WhatsApp messages. Still, um, strictly text messages to the number displayed on your TV screen. Inshallah, on IBT on the street today, our question is Which prophet of Allah was swallowed by a fish? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam salam. Uh, which prophet of Allah was swallowed by a fish? Mm, prophet Yunus. Prophet Yunus, yeah. There's a... Uh, mm, Yunus. Yunus? Yunus. I think it's a... Uh, I know it's Suleiman. Suleiman? Yeah. Uh, I know it's Yusuf. Yusuf? Yusuf. Yusuf? Uh, not be Yusuf. Yusuf? Yeah. Yunus. Yunus. Swallow by fish. Huh? I can't, I can't remember. Yeah. Thank you. No. Prophet no. Thank you. Um, Prophet Yunus. Yunus? Yes. The Prophet of Allah was swallowed by a fish. My fish has... Uh, the Prophet of Allah that a fish swallowed. Okay, well, we thank God that uh, Ramadan we, is, going, is going on, sir. It's going on. Thank you, sir. Anabi Isa. Isa. Yes. All right. 
Prophet Yunus. Prophet Yunus, yes. Um, Prophet No. Yeah. As an Ebi Yunus. That should be Prophet No. No. Is it No or Solu? That should be Prophet No or Prophet Solu. Wow. Let me say Yunus. On behalf of Right Foods, uh, IBT on the street present this to you. What do you have to say? Thank you very much, sir. And that is how far we can go on today's edition of I Beauty on the Street. If you are just joining us, of course you've missed an educating segment. But of course, not to worry. The question we asked for today was, which prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was swallowed by fish? It is no other than Prophet Yunus alayhi salatu wa salam. You also can be part of this segment by answering the Happy Bite Home Play segment. And the question for the Happy Bite Home Play segment that we called out earlier is... Uh, what is the meaning of al Quran? Simply send SMS only, strictly SMS, to the number displayed on your TV screen. And inshallah, we shall contact the first five correct answers for their rewards. Don't forget to join us, same time, same station, tomorrow on IBT on the streets. I remain Yon Islam, Abdul Latif Sani. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Praise is due to the one and only He is the master of all creation All praise is due to the one and only Consumption of unwholesome food can injure your health Poor eating habit also promotes obesity Yo-Yo Bitters helps with weight control and ensures a free-flowing circulatory system. Yo-Yo Bitters, available in liquid, gel, and caplets. Ramadan Karim from Ablat Nigeria Limited. Yo-Yo Bitters, stay purified. <laughs> وبها سمت أسماؤنا نمضي وتبقى هنا أعمارنا أعمالنا وبها سمت أسماؤنا نمضي وتبقى هنا آثارنا الحمد لله رب العالمين ما شاء الله we still have you there it's still there this is TV show on Silver Television but you've missed a whole lot if you're just joining us anyway not to worry the Eid is around the corner Eid of Fitri Family Fun Fair this year we'll hold on the 19th of July here in Lagos and it will be at the Fun Factory Lekki Phase 1 on Admiralty where you won't miss it once you drive into Lekki three minutes drive from the gate and it'll be on the left Fun Factory is the place to be 1000 Naira is the gate fee Abuja is not left out. We'll be at the Little Mate Park, Area 11 Garki, on the 19th and the 20th of July, and it's still the same 1000 naira fee. Of course, this will give you access to all the games that we played on that day. So, inshallah, come prepared with the entire family and friends. This is where we we'll sign off and leave you with high rhymes. Until we come your way again, it is the last, the last pair in our lives.
never thought about All the things you have given to me I never thanked you once I was too proud To see the truth And prostrate to you Until I took the first step And that's when you opened the doors for me Ng Nigeria's number one car website. Beautiful events create beautiful memories, and beautiful memories are meant to be preserved forever. Introduce it. Angle 90 Digital Concepts, a digital video coverage company that understands how to help you preserve those important moments in quality audio visuals. Angle 90 Digital Concepts deploy the most contemporary equipment handled by thorough professionals in the coverage of events. Whatever events you're planning, 
birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, graduations. Make sure you're not employing the services of quiet that are better at ruining important memories. Angle 90 digital concept also gives the added Islamic touch to make the experience one that is blessed and worthy. Angle 90 digital concepts telephone number is 0803-701-6030 Angle 90 digital concepts Beautiful event is our watchword it's 2015 and this year for the first time in its history, the IBT Ibu Fitri Family Fun Fair will host in two cities at the same time. This year's Family Fun Fair will host in Lagos and Abuja and both events promises to be exclusive, exciting and fun filled. The Lagos event comes up on Sunday the 19th of July 2015 at the very classy fun factory at Admiralty Way, Lucky Phase 1, Lagos. Abuja event holds on Sunday 19th and Monday 20th July 2015 at the new and lush Itumits Park located at Area 11, Garki Abuja. Start time is 11 a.m. and entry fee for both events is a thousand naira flat. The 2015 Eye Beauty Eagle for Three Family Fun Fair will feature lots of exciting games, fun rides, kiddos swimming pool, national performances, open mic competition, five pillar games, five aside football, and exclusive exhibitions. All games and rides are absolutely free. For tickets and exhibition space bookings, Lagos call 0807. 843 one very beautiful Umar. To our love belongs the universe so beautiful. The planet stars go floating past, obeying his will. To our love belongs the earth and sky, so wonderful All the oceans wide, the mountains high, the animals Looking at the sky, so many million miles over space and time There is only one girl From a treetop, watch the sun start through a dewdrop there is only one God There is only one God Praise be to Him My life is Here is only one Glory be to Him Our love belong the jinn, the angels, and all men. From fear, we fire, pure light, and colored sins. To our love belong the messengers sent to God. For every nation, those who came, all they tried. To bring back the light, guide through the night, make everything right. There is only one God, Muhammad the last, given the task, peace do we ask. There is only one God, there is only one God, praise be to Man, the compassionate and gracious Ar Rahim, the merciful, you made the earth spacious, Al Malik, the king of all spaces. 
Al Qudus, the holy who can never be replaced. As Salam, bestower of peace and tranquility. Al Mu'min, the ultimate granter of security. Ya Allah, you are my life, I need you blessing me. Al Muhaymin, protector of protectors. Al Aziz, the mighty. Al Jabbar, the compeller. Al Mutakabir, supreme in greatness, so majestic. Made us from clay, breathe of his spirit, he is ever blessed. Al Khalid, creator. Al Badi, the maker. Al Musawir, he is the form shaper. Ya Allah, I think of you when I feel safer. Al Ghafar, the forgiver of the sinners. Al Kahar, the subduer, the ender. Al Wahab, the bestower, no one's higher. Al Razak, the provider, he's the greatest, he's the guider. Al Fatah, the opener and judge of judges. Al Alim, all knowing, his attributes are ongoing. It is his promises that keep me hoping. We give a few of Allah's infinite attributes. We say, Allah, we love you for everything you do. We show appreciation, repeat that you're the greatest To prove we only wish to be in your good graces To Allah belongs everything I call my own The heart within my body's home, my very soul To Allah I pray my every day lived in his name and that I someday will reach the place where peace prevails There is only one God